Okay, we're back for the self-learning portion uh, to show you what we had. It was 1223. I'm actually going to write that down uh, so we can compare with our later run. Let's see here. Come on. Okay, so we had 1223, 2737. Uh, the profiles and activations were forms that inadvertently got sucked into the mix, so we're not going to really count the profiles or activations or anything else. But, well, yeah, we'll we'll do the, the others, too, I suppose. Why not, right? Although the forms are going to get thrown in there, but, you know, in the second round, they'll fall into others, probably. But, oh well, right? We'll close the last four threads. So we can get started with the real issue. Self-learning. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to teach XRoomer some new basic fields so that it has a better way of filling things in, which should increase our success list. Uh, now, what we do not want to do is we do not want to fill in very specific fields that may accidentally be anti-spam fields on other uh, resources. So, for instance, you don't want to fill in anti-spam fields that aren't a text captcha, and if it's text captcha, you can really do it through the text captcha tool. So, what you're basically looking for, a prime example, would be comment. Um, and then the text before field shows message. So the field name was comment, it was a text block, it showed up on 83 potential targets, and uh, the text right before it was message. Uh, so in that, we'd want to pop in, let's see here, message. Pretty simple, huh? You click OK, and you're done. So that one is understood. You'll know that it took when the output field name is message, and there's the green checkbox. Um, let's see. What is the next best thing? I don't know that I really like that. See, I don't trust something that's a checkbox, and uh, the text right before it is home page optional. To me, the fact that the text right before it is something that you would not think of as being by the checkbox, nor the fact that the field name was preview, uh, these things don't line up. To me, this looks like a spam trap of some sort. Uh, something that I just want no part of. Um, so let's continue to go down and see if we can find other things that look like they would be good to fill in. Um, message, okay, this was something that XRumor had already assumed and it looks to me like that's correct. Yeah, the other thing you really want to do is double check uh, XRumor's work. For instance, it automatically assumed that message with a text area was the message, and it taught itself that. So it's nice, but you want to um, you want to you know be sure of what's doing. I'm not so sure about the capture code one personally. That to me could go either way. It's hard to say honestly if that's uh, valid or not. But it was only affecting 10 possible sites, so to me that's not the end of the world. Um, really, I think that we can get away with doing just that one. And that's the disadvantage of having a very small sample size. Uh, you know, when you have such a small sample size, it's hard to know. Uh, you know, if this is a fair representation. I am going to do some obvious ones. This happened on 44 occasions, age, text before field age. Uh, I don't know if that's a spam trap or not, but I'm going to put something in there just just because I feel like filling in one more thing. So, you know, otherwise it seems like a little bit of a waste. Um, I can't really see anything else that makes me think, you know, that we should fill it in. So we'll click on save. That's the next important thing. Okay, so our file changed. It went from zero bytes to, you know, 1270. So we'll close that. Now we're going to rerun the same list. And before we do, i to make sure this is stayed checked because uh, that's the only way the ZAS AI will be used. And let's start from scratch.
and we'll see how we do. Remember, our numbers before were 1223, 2737, and 4865. Now, 4865 may go up because of those forms that we had accidentally caught, uh, but so far we're looking pretty decent, you know. So, we'll see how it goes, and I will catch up with you on the next vid.